What is up YouTube, it is QuakeSassin here, and today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to set up Minecraft server with port forwarding, which means no Hamachi. This will work for both PC and Mac with slight differences. Today I'll be showing you how to do it on Mac. So we're going to want to open our internet browser, type in Minecraft, go to download. This, this one right here is the Windows one, and this one right here is the Mac one, or any other OS. So we're going to click that. I already have it downloaded, so we're just going to stop that. Right here, new folder. Now you can name it whatever you want, but I'm naming it server. Put that in there. Okay, we're going to run that. This is why it takes a second. See how it says failed? It's okay because it's never made the folders before. It's just going to make them for the first time. And I'm just going to wait until it gets to 100%. And okay, and it is done. So now we are going to type in stop and press enter. This might take a second but it will finish when it closes this which sometimes it doesn't close so you're just going to want to go up here force quit then force quit okay so serve properties will open with text edit since this gives you a lot of options right here but one you if you want it to be crack server you can change this right here it says true if, it's, if you want to be crack server which means anyone can connect without minecraft premium you can change it to false and then you want to save that okay next we're going to do the port forwarding process so on mac you want to do system preferences sharing and you want to go down to web sharing and check that on see this address you're going to want to click it that's your static ip address now change with your router or modem settings to for port forwarding you want it Back, backspace the last number and then type in one to replace it. It's going to take you to whatever modem router settings you have. And then for me, I'm going to go to advanced setup and it's going to be advanced port forwarding. Now, IP port range, I already have these, we're just going to remove them. If you want to type in 25565, and same for both, which is the default one the default port for Minecraft. And the IP address, it's going to be the static IP address, which is down here. So 192.168.08. It'll be different for everyone, or it might be the same. Okay, and this, this will be just any, so make sure any, anyone can connect and you right click add. And then you want to do UDP2. Sometimes there's an option to add both. Then you want to apply. I'll take a second. I'll be applied and then apply the second one. And that will apply, be applied. Okay. So now, fix all that. To check to make sure your port is open, we're going to run the server. The default options have 25565 as being the port. You don't want to mess with the IP address with this method in the server properties that, you, that we opened. Once that loads, we're going to look up can you see me? Open port check tool. Now show your external IP address right here. And then you want to type in the port 25565 and check the port. It says success. I get your service. And that is your IP address right there. And on port, your ISP is not blocking port 25565. Okay. So. You, for, you want people to connect to your external IP address when they want to connect to your server, but if you're on the same network, you want to use your, the static IP address of the computer running the server. And you, you there's ways to mask the external IP address, like noip.com. I will leave a link in the description for that and a bunch of other helpful links. Feel free to comment on this video. I will answer your questions if you want. And this has been Quick Sass, and thank you for watching.
If you want more of these videos, then please subscribe.